Okay, so this is a um, pretty complicated counting problem. It requires the use of various counting techniques, and then also you have to do some pretty quick calculations uh, to do it as a math counts problem. First thing is, if you got 10 team members um, assigned um, all the problems, or four team members assigned 10 problems, there's only two ways this can happen. Um, where you give three of them two problems and one of them four problems, and the, or two of them two problems and two of them three problems. And then you should notice, well, there's four ways that you could do this, because you could just say, okay, uh, person A gets to four problems, person B gets four problems, person C gets to four problems, person D gets to four problems, um, or four choose one. And then there are six ways that you can do this, and so um, because you can have uh, uh, four choose two um, that have to be the three, um, you know, that have to answer three questions. So now we need to calculate how many ways can I do it such that two get two, two get two, two get two, and one gets four. Well, it actually turns out to be like a letter arrangement problem. You know, if you imagine um, that the, the first two is represented by A, second two by B, third two by C, fourth two by D, or the four by D, it would be how many ways can I arrange the two A's, um, the two B's, the two C's, and the four D's in order? Um, because that would represent problems 1 through 10, and, and the order 1 through 10 matters, just like the order of, and using our letter arrangement formula matters. And so it's going to end up being 10 factorial, which I'm going to go ahead and write out, because I know I'm going to have to do some multiplying. And then I'm going to multiply that times 4, um, but it's um, divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 4 factorial. The nice thing is we get some cancellation, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, um, 4 factorial is just 4 times 3 times 2. So I multiply things together. I like to group things. 10 times 9 times 7 is 630. Um, 6 times 5 times 4 is 120. So I multiply these out. And I just try to do my multiplication as um, fast as I can. Um, and the first one then gives me 0, 0, 6, 5, 7, so 75,600. When I do it this way, same idea, except this time I'm dividing by a little bit different. And I've got to multiply by a 6. And I'm going to be divided by 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 2. Well, the 3 times 2s can cancel out the two 6s. And the 2 times 2, the 4. And so that's going to leave me, well, again, grouping. 10 times 9 times 8 is 720. And then 7 times 5 times 6 is 210. So I can put a 0 down. Um, and then uh, 720. Um, and then I can do um, 0 times 4. Um, oh, the 0 starts here. So 0 um, and 4 and a 14, and so I end up with 0, 0, 2, carry the 1, and so I end up with 15, 1, 2, 0. Oh. Um, and so that's going to give me um, 1, 5, 1, um, uh, that's not right. So 1, 5, 1, 2, 0, oh, 0, oh, which gives me 0, 0, 8, 6, 2, carry the 1, 2, which is 226,000. 800. So the hardest part in that problem was the recognizing the use of the letter arrangements formula, not forgetting to multiply by the 6 and the 4, and then just getting your calculations correct, which can be a very challenging thing when you've got the time constraints of math counts.